Coach, when did it really start clicking for Jacob Park? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, we were able to get some good field position from our defense, uh, you know, really in about three three consecutive series there. And, uh, you know, I think he hit, you know, he, he, he hit that one nice ball there, kind of got going, and I think he was able to, uh, you know, he drove a, a ball on the first on the first series on third down that I think was a, a really good throw and kind of a, you know, a real tight window that he hit. And, you know, I think he uh, started getting some confidence and, you know, obviously he believes in his arm, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously I think when he hit that one to, to Lazard kind of into the wind a little bit there, I think, you know, you, you kind of kind of knew you had a good, had a good feeling like, man, that's like nothing's really going wrong. So that's pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, yeah, I think he just, yeah, I think he kind of got going early in the game and had some confidence and, and was able to make some throws. What about for this season? When did you really start to see him turn the corner? Well, you know, I think, you know, with, with, with Jacob, uh, you know, getting here when he got here. Um, and then, you know, obviously he, he had an illness that kept him out of camp that, you know, probably put him behind schedule a little bit uh, just from a, a rep standpoint, just getting the amount of reps. And you know, I don't know if there's an exact point, but I think there's been a gradual growth and understanding of, you know, what's going on and, you know, where we're supposed to throw the ball and what we're supposed to do. And, you know, I just been, I'm proud of him for continuing to stay the course and just kind of chipping away at it. And I think there's, you know, obviously there's a, uh, he had a good, two good weeks in a row. I think that kind of shown just from his preparation. Has he forced you guys to pretty much play him this season? Yeah, you know, I, I I don't know if that's the the word. Um, you know, I think just he's, with his, his yeah, practice, I think he's yeah. deserved the right to do it. You know, I think he's deserved the right to play in, in football games, and and uh, you know he's he's practiced really well, and I think that's the you know Coach Campbell talks about it all the time, and and how important practice is, and and he he only lives by that, and I think the players understand that that you know if you if you don't take the, the meaningful practice reps, and if you don't don't take practice the, the right way. If you don't practice well, you're not going to play well, so you won't play. So, you know, I think you've just seen a growth in the way that he's performed and practiced. And, you know, really the number of reps has helped him uh, quite a bit. Coach Campbell said that he didn't have really any ex expectations for Jacob's season when he first got here. He hadn't thrown a ball in about two years. You know, when did it, how did he kind of look in the beginning and when did that kind of start showing his, you know, his five star ability? When did that kind of start coming back out? Well, I think, you, I, you know, I think the, the, the first time you see him throw, you, you know that there's arm talent there, you know, and, uh, you know, I think it's, you, you obviously know that he has some moxie and, uh, you know, has some leadership and, and uh, you know, I think it's just been, kind of been a gradual growth that the more comfortable that he's been, you know, because that's, you know, it, it's a lot to learn a, a college system, um, any system, you know, fast and, and you know, it, especially not going through through spring football, you know, just the, especially when you play that position, it's it's not just the plays, you know, it's uh, how to get a signal, how to talk to the offensive line, how to, you know, how to make sure guys are lined up, you know, what what are we doing? Are we kind of in tempo? Are we in? What are we doing? There's a lot of things that go into it, and you know, you, you don't realize how long that stuff takes. The procedural things uh, before the play start, you know, and. Uh, you know, it's just kind of been a gradual growth, and uh, you know he's done a very good job of just chipping away at it and chipping away. And, and obviously, I think you know the last couple of weeks, you, you you can tell that he's felt more confident with what he's doing and how to operate and how to handle the different situations and coverages and plays. And uh, I'm real proud of him. Do you remember the first time you saw him throw? Yeah, I do. Uh, it was um, it was the, actually the the first. The first day of uh, fall camp, and uh, he could rip it. That's what kind of was my right. You know, guy can rip it here pretty good. What were you expecting during that first? And, I mean, were, did you expect to see that type of? No, you know, guy I think you, you know, I think you. I'm like Coach Campbell. I, you, you know, you really don't have. I didn't see him throw in high school. You know, I didn't see him do any of those things. I watched his his videotape, and obviously, you can tell that there's arm talent and you know, the ability to make plays and those kind of things. But, I, you know, you just, you just never know, you know, and then you, you kind of watch and you're like, whoa, that ball came out pretty good. And, you know, I just, so I, you know, I didn't have really any expectations um, other than I knew that he was a really good kid that uh, is really passionate about football, like he loves football. That's the only thing I really knew. And, you know, I think that 
that's kind of all my expectations were. Was it one of those things where right when you see him throw, you're kind of like, okay, wow, we're going to be able to use this kid pretty well, soon? Well, you know, again, it's kind of, you know, you hope so, but you, you know how, <clears throat> how, how big that learning curve is, yeah. you know, so you're – you kind of like, okay, yeah, you know, he can throw the football, but there's a lot of guys that can throw the football, and it's just how fast and, and how well can you learn. I mean, there's a lot of guys that play in the NFL that can really rip the ball but didn't last real long because of all the other things, you know, and I think so, you know, anytime you go through that, you have to be patient and give him what he can handle, um, you know, at a, at a certain speed and make sure you're not overloading anybody, and, you know, it's kind of been the approach on offense is, you know, we had to kind of build from a, a slow pace and try to continue to add and add and add at, at the right pace. And, you know, I, I think uh, Jacob's done a good job. You had a point where every 